I'm Rosanna here, bringing you a video review of the LEGO Mindstorms EV3, one of the the newest EV, the newest <laughs> LEGO Mindstorm of the series. They've been, this is their 15th year anniversary or something, that's why they made the EV3. Um, this is really impressive um, generation into the EV3, except for a few design flaws here and there, but otherwise they did a really good job doing the EV3, but, you know, I had a few problems with building it, and I will explain that in a little bit. But number one, what is, what is the EV3? The EV3 is a LEGO Mindstorm, and the LEGO Mindstorms have been out for a while now, like I said, a good 15 years, and, um, they've, I mean, they're like the ultimate robotics kits that you can buy at, like, my age. Unless you want to spend close to a thousand dollars on a decent Lego kit, I mean, a decent robotics kit where you build your own robots and you have, whoops, we're in the video right there, um, we have decent, um, decent, um, quality and stuff, you're gonna have to spend a lot of money getting a kit like that. Um, this kit was $350. It took me a good few months. It took me like three or four months to save up for it from work. Um, it, it, I think it was worth it in most ways. Um, but there are some things I wish they would have fixed with the EV3 that I have problems with. Now, my number one complaint with the EV3 is how long it takes to start up it, to start it up and shut it down. The EV3 takes close to 30 seconds to start it up. And it takes about that amount of time to shut it down. So, you're eating a battery, and this thing goes through batteries really fast. Faster than the NXT or NXT 2.0. But it all, it all makes up for it because of all the new sensors and stuff. Now, this thing is amazing. The brick itself is an A9 processor in it. It's got Bluetooth hooked up. It can hook up to Wi-Fi. You know, if you're a good modder, you could mod it up to Wi-Fi. So, like, maybe you could attach your iPod to it. So, then you could have your Wi. So, you can have like your Mindstorm, an extension thing for your Wi-Fi. So, you can have like your EV3 on your dresser or something, and then you know, hook it up to that Wi-Fi, and then bam. But it's but that's not it. The sensors that this thing has are are really impressive. It comes with an infrared sensor. IR sensor, the coolest sensor in the kit, a color sensor, and a touch sensor. And then the, an infrared sensor allows you to have a beacon. So they, it gives you instructions how to build this beacon for the um, EV3 storm. And um, yeah, but the problem I had with the EV3 storm building it was it took a long time to build it. And you don't get instructions straight out of the box, you need to have a tablet or a computer to be able to build the EV3 storm. Otherwise, you're spending $350 on Tracker, which is like the one that they encourage you to build the most. And this this is covered around the box, so yeah. But I'm trying to go through this because I don't want my iPod to shut off in the middle of me talking. So the EV3 is a really great kit. However, I do feel like they could make a few improvements, but the main problem I had was the medium servo motor. That was, like, an amazing piece of technology that was going to be added to this kit, but it's turned out to be one of my worst enemies. Because the stupid thing is, like, so loose that if... And the ball shooter, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but the tri-blade thing, if it's in there, and then it'll spin it for a little bit, and then it'll, like, come out. The blasting bazooka, that's what they call it, um, the design of it has problems where it cannot shoot normal, and I mean, uh, you have to take out this part, you have, to, you have to mod the gun itself, otherwise you're going to break a part. I almost broke a part trying to make it shoot it. It was like bending a Lego part. But let's start up the EV3. Enough complaints, let's get to the EV3 itself. So it's got a nice little LED screen, I mean, uh, not, uh, LED light in the buttons. And this wasn't supposed to come today. This was supposed to come the day before Christmas Eve or Christmas Eve. So I was really surprised that this came today. So like I said, it takes about 30 seconds to start up. Not my favorite feature about the EV3. My favorite feature is how you can control it. So if you don't have a computer, you can still control it. And the missing thing... Oh. Yeah, it has that new ringtone. The thing about the EV3 is that 
it's just a lot better. So I made a program here. We'll have to go into a different room to do that, but I'll just show you remote controlling here. One plus two. All right, so if you see, there's a little C's moving. LED, little light. It's hard to control it with two hands. Hold on. What if I... No, okay. Backwards. You basically get it. You know, it's hard to do this with one hand. And the company claims that this thing has skating movement. It doesn't, as you can clearly see. And then shooting, like, it's on channel 2, but the IR receiver, it's really hard to get this thing to channel 2. Now this thing, I can only shoot it upwards without it breaking something. And every time you do that, that you can see, it's starting to get loose from the motor. So that's like a cheap part that they just added to it. So that's the remote control feature. Now I will bring it into a different room because I'm going to lose a part if I do it here. Let's get my EV3 out of here. Let's put it in a different room here. Do it in the bathroom. Right. So I'll start up that program that I made for it. As you can notice, it's right there. Oops, stop, 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 stop. Okay, so let's make, let's do this program. So that's a program that I made for it. You want to make sure that you do not lose these little balls because you do not want to have to spend more money on another one because that won't be fun. But that's a program that I made. You can do a lot more possibilities, like make the sensors do stuff. And it really is quite a cool little system. Okay, so that's the program that I made for it, um, especially for this. I only had two balls when I came into the bathroom. So you can see the color sensors on. But this thing really eats up batteries. I mean, I've only I've only been playing with this thing for maybe a total of a few hours, and this thing is like is getting pretty low. I mean, that's how many batteries it has. I mean, it's already taking up that much battery. And then there's a demo. Once you build the legs, you can download the demo for what the legs do. So it can also drive on carpet too. That's the advantage of it having like wheels on it. And then there's a turn off thing. It makes a little noise. But that's the Lego Mindstorm EV3. I I would. I'm gonna be making a lot of videos of this thing. Um, the cool thing about the mine, about Lego Mindstorms is that once you get bored of a robot, you can build another one. So once I get bored of the EV3 Storm, I'm gonna build another one. Overall, I'll give this an 8 out of 10. I want to give it a 10 out of 10, but the reason why is because one, it takes forever to start up, and two, it just eats up batteries, and three, the, the instructions aren't that great, and for the medium servo motor is very loose, and the tri-blade thing, I don't even want to show that, because, you know, it's stupid, but, um, it, yeah, it could just shut down. It, this stuff constantly falls out, and I, I mean, how much more would it really cost to have a bigger, you know, I for, um, I forgot what that was called, it was, it was some shooter that came with a bionicle. I mean, it can't cost more than 20 cents to add a giant, a bigger one that shoots Xamersphere, Xamersphere launcher. It can't be more than 20 cents to add a bigger thing on there. Um, 
But I mean, I really like it. But what I would like to see is I would have liked to, if you touch the touch sensor, its hand would open. You can open it yourself, but, you know, it's not as great. And then the beacon looks pretty cool. But that is the entire review on the LEGO Mindstorm EV3. Stay tuned for my channel. I'll be making more rev more videos of it. I will probably be a few days before I decide to take this one apart and build my own. I'm going to be building a free roam robot after this and then maybe Gripper. And then I recommend making...